footage you're about to see uh, it's me attempting to finish, attempting to do a solid SPD day. Despite the two days before that, which was fun, waiting time and rehearsal waiting time and like just hanging out with some friends. I was, I didn't drink enough water and didn't eat a lot and I was dehydrated, maybe dehydrated. I don't know, I was just tired. It was a long, long two days. The following should not be done on a long day. I squatted 628 for a triple, 673 for a top single. I benched 407 for a triple. And I did 435 or 4, 445? 445 for a single. And then I deadlifted 683 for a triple and 727 for a top single. I was, and it was hot because I went to the Manassas location and that thing was hot. It was just, it was a hot day. First time in a long time that I felt like yakking after training. I took off my hoodie after like two minutes of being in there because it was just too hot. Honestly, I like that. Next time, I just got to make sure I'm, I'm better hydrated, have more fuel in my stomach. Don't want to do it just like that. Like, I don't mind the heat, but that day was just, it was brutal. So here's some shots, some shots of this. And then at the, after this, you're going to have, I'm going to give a little SPD, not SPD sleeves. They're not SPD sleeves. Iron Rebel. I'm going to give my six-month review of the Iron Rebel sleeves after the following SPD clip from this past Saturday. Enjoy. Welcome back. See you later. <laughs> yeah. Stand up! Alright, so <laughs> welcome back to um, my YouTube channel, I guess. <laughs> and um, so about the Iron Rebel sleeves, the Iron Rebel PR gold sleeve. Let me look it up exactly. Let me look up exactly what they're called. Just so I'm sure about it, you know. Oh, Iron Rebel knee sleeves. I'm on their website. Scrolling. Okay, so, so, uh, power gear, knee sleeves, come on, where you at? Oh, whoa, whoa, did you not make them anymore? Oh, black and gold, is these it? They have them in red too? Hey, they have them in red, I had no idea. Okay, so, the PR knee sleeves, black and gold. I've had them about, it should be about six months now. I think I'm going to order a new one later on. Um, I've had them for about six months now. I've had the opportunity to hit a decent PR on them. Um, I was already training up to it, but I hit 750 was 750 squat high bar. And great knee sleeves. Like, these are great. Let me see if I cover my face a little bit. But great knee sleeves. Really good. Uh, let me see if I can... Switch them around so you can see how they look. By the way, these are the biggest knee sleeves you can get from them. They're a 6 extra large, 6XL. Um, my size, when I measured according to what they asked you to measure, 
I'm between 5XL and 6XL, but I heard that these run tight, so I did not want to get, I did not want to get big, uh, tight, super tight sleeves. These are the 6XL ones. Look, look how big they are on my arm compared to my head. They are, they're big sleeves, you know, but the quality, in my opinion, really good quality. Up to this point, I've had the, I had a pair of X, uh, extra large SPDs, double XL SPD sleeves, um, some Mark Bell sleeves, and Stronghouse Project, I forgot, I think that's the name of the company, one of their sleeves. These came out, inserts came out, these were available that one weekend when I bought them, so I ordered them. I love these sleeves. I truly do like them. And I, I put them through the, you know, I, I, I squat on average three times a week. On um, Tuesday will be my, I guess you can say secondary day, which is like triples, doubles, sometimes even sets of four. And it'll be multiple sets. And then Thursdays is my front squat day. And that's triples. And then on Saturday will be my main SPD day. I guess my main um, primary squat day or secondary. Saturday is my SPD day. And that's when I push these when it comes to like the most weight, you know. And so far, great sleeves. Up until, up until a couple weeks ago where, I don't know if you can see this, right here. Let me see. You see that it's not supposed to be there. It's not the it's not the inside. It's not the outside that got cut. Is the inside the little I guess the rubber that they use is inside the sleeves that make it tight. Has, has a cut and it goes down about four four or five inches, and it's on one, only on one sleeve so far, and it really doesn't bother me that much like. I'm just afraid of ripping them more just because, like, the way I fold them and to put them on. But I don't feel a, I don't feel like, I don't feel like they, um, they interfere, you know, that cut interferes with, um, there you go. It shouldn't be that way. I don't feel like the cut inter interferes with my squatting and, and the numbers I'm pushing. But as you can see, I, I probably should order a new pair. I ain't rebel. Just, let, just saying, just saying. But overall, great sleeves. I but that's my six-month update on knee sleeves. I'm going to post up my SPD from this past Saturday. It's crazy. So you'll see that before you see all of this. 